My guardians, my fallen friends arisen, let us stand together. Hear the clapping of hollow, hated wings. Hear the voiceless voice. The void approaches. Look, the dragon, the dragon. Stand by me, stand together.
is its own deliverance!
Guardians, it is over. The Void has been caged inside the God Box, and you have put an end to the battle I was designed by your enemies to lose. The taint has gone. A new dawn breaks. Pure is the source that courses through me. Immaculate. Let us absolve the word. Unsullied is all source anew. And I see that one stands by you. One that would benefit from the source's cleansing. Oh, Ikara, most radiant soul. Let me soothe your ill-starred soul forge and banish all that is Leandra forever. Leandra, my sister, my soul, she is gone. She chose her fate and I could not protect her from it. I wasn't, I wasn't strong enough. gone. Her soul was lost, so deeply lost, and I could not save her, no matter how much I willed it so. I know not where her soul might rest, but I hope she is at peace now, somewhere she can do no more harm. At peace, yes, so she is. That much I can promise you. Her life is at an end, but her journey is not, and you are free from the burden that is her troubled soul. Thank you, Astarte, sweet spirit. Through Source, I shall serve you. My champions, my gratitude is yours. All of us fell low once, but look how we have all reascended. That, my friend, is a hard question to answer. But we have somewhere to go, and in that your victory lies condensed. We stand at the brink of a new age and a new universe that even the cowering gods thought the fancy of fools. More fool them, for distrusting you, guardians, you deliverers of time and space. Remain here to cleanse and renew the first garden. Source shall flow wholesomely again, a blessing upon all the well-willing creatures of all the beauteous realms. And you, you I absolve of your guardian duty. You have kept the watch long, and kept it well, but even longer shall be your lives and happy if I can make them so. The only two beings you'll be who can freely come to this garden and bask in the splendor of the source restored. The only two beings you'll be who will share the privilege of gods. But first I will let you settle your business on Rivalon. So let me take you home to the place where it all began. On my feet again. Into the fray once more. I'm the devil. Yes, sir. Sweet relief. Oh, <laughs> it smells wonderful, doesn't it, my friend? Rivalon, 
Home again. Long have we traveled, side by side. Now here we stand at the end of our adventure, into a wilderness I never imagined. I will return to Home Forest. I know not what I'll find there now, but I will sing our story from every cave and clearing, and perhaps, perhaps Jarrett will return someday. Come visit someday, won't you? I know Mother would love to meet you. Oh, <laughs> don't worry. You're not grisly enough for her taste. <laughs> was but a hair's breadth away from being blinked out of existence. If you'd asked they during our student no, years, yes. I would have sure told you let the voids will be done. Good oh, comrade, our reputations have galloped over far before we... Old Captain Watrous won't believe half of what I told him, or so he says. He won't admit it, but he's giddier than a schoolgirl to see you again. Well, comrade, someone's got to teach these pups about going toe-to-toe -to -toe against the dark forces of Rivalon. Reckon yours truly is up to the job. Well, well, well. Look who's finally back. Were you out hunting Source, or off finding yourself in Uthol Gore? So, out with it then. Who killed Councillor Jake? Gods above. There's at least two in every year. Look, I don't care what you do in your free time, recruit. But on Academy grounds, the recreational use of Drudenay is strictly prohibited. Oh, we've heard the rumors. Source cult this and end of time that. The recruits may buy it hook, line and sinker. But I've been on the farm long enough to know a tall tale when I hear one. I'll expect to find all the details in your report, Hunter. But first, you've got visitors. The kind I don't like to see loitering around Academy headquarters. Clear them out, and then get to writing. Do I look like your secretary? Go on. They're just inside. Source Hunter, how I rejoice at your return. I may not have scurried through the first garden myself, but thundering tomcats, I can vividly imagine the terrible battle you fought and won in that starry realm. Leandra is dead. It had to be. Astarte is free. The void dragon enclosed anew and forever. So few people know that thanks to you and only you, they draw happy breaths. That Zigzags writes with fervor still, and that the weaver quietly weaves as if nothing ever happened. Your quest is over, Hunter, but your glory is endless. One day your story will be sung, and your very name whispered in reverence. How honored I am indeed to be a footnote in your tale. Not a bad place you've got here, Guardian. Not bad at all. Though I don't know if that sourpuss of a captain realizes you were all that stood between him and certain doom. Perhaps I can rustle up a nice charming elixir to soften that scowl of his. Now, now, I'm sure after all they've faced, our heroes can handle the likes of him. How are you faring? That you have, dear Guardian. 
and Rivalon will remain forever in your debt. Wherever you may go, you can cast your eyes about you and know that all you see continues to exist because of you. I will return to Lakula. Leandra left a veritable legion of sorcerers in her wake, and they'll need guidance now that Source has been cleansed. I'm certain most will be delighted to learn they need not slaughter rabbits, or worse, to secure Source's blessings. And as for the rest, well, all these recruits will need something to do, won't they? A wizard's work is never done, Source Hunter. I know not what the future holds, but I'll wait for it at my leisure with a pipe and a good book. And on a more personal note, I'm not entirely sure things are hopeless between Akara and I. I know she's angry now, but... For God's sakes, I'm standing right here. And the answer is, never again. Not for all of Gungir's gold. We'll see. I do so hope we'll meet again, Guardian. Aiding you on this journey has been the finest privilege I can fathom. Your health and happiness, Guardian. And thank you. So this is it then, your alma mater. About as big as my palace's kitchen used to be, but it's not devoid of a certain charm. Well have we deserved a moment of rest, I say, and these halls will serve as good as any. Once we have had some sleep and in dreams revisited the gardens of our triumph, I will take my leave of you, Hunter, and take to the wilds anew. Hiraka eludes me still, but even a ghastly marvel such as she will surface given time. And time, as you know, is a concept I am utterly beyond. That said, you are welcome to join me, of course. Your companionship, after all, has not been without merit. But that is an adventure for another day. For now, let us fill our glasses and toast to a universe redeemed. So, this is it. After all we've discovered, after the battles we've won, I think it really is over. What do you suppose we should do now? The Void may be caged, but the rest of the realm's villains remain. Rivalon has need of us yet. Onward! against any and all the realm's evils. And thus, the Guardians lived out the remainder of their mortal days. The end. if you really want to know.
When our two hard-headed but passionate saviors returned to Rivalon, they started up a steamy romance, a story for the ages. Equally familiar in their little home were the sounds of passion and the breaking of glass. And thus, Rivalon's first pair of cohabitating arch-nemeses lived out their days. What more could you ask for, little imp? The void is contained, the goddess is freed, and the saviors have returned to Rivalon. What more could you ask for?